Hi, this is Stu Johnson. Today I wanted to go over uh, two different types of bar chords. They're really the base types of bar chords that, that people do normally all the time, uh, especially beginners and people that are just starting out. Even intermediate people use them. Even advanced guys use them all the time. Um, but there are two essential uh, basic fundamental forms. One is called the A position and uh, one's called the E position. Now there's an easy way to do these bar chords and then there's a not so easy way to do them. And I'm here to tell you the easy, not, well, you know what, bar chords aren't easy, uh, but there is, there's one, there's a better way to do it and a not so better way to do it. And normally people will just say, hey, you know, just put your finger across and just go, and dude, it's, oh, you know, that actually doesn't work. Um, you want to make sure that you're playing uh, an instrument that's been set up correctly. So make sure that if your strings are, 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 are feel like you're really having to push down um, excessively, you might need what's called a setup on your guitar. So I suggest you take it to some place, uh, a luthier, um, uh, which is a guitar repair shop or repair guy, and he will he will set your guitar up and make it sound way better and make it very uh, a lot easier to play uh, than than it currently is if you're having a real hard time playing it. Um, acoustic guitars have a tendency to well, for instance, there's 200 pounds of pull that the strings are putting on the neck of the guitar once the strings are cranked down and tuned up and in position on an acoustic. So it's kind of like having you know the neck of a guitar hanging over a ledge and having a 200 pound person hang on it. That's how much pressure is on the neck in this direction. So it's real easy while the guitar is sitting in the factory um, or wherever it's being shipped from for the neck to kind of come forward a little bit and for the strings to be really really far away from the fretboard. So so make sure that you send it to a luthier or somebody that knows what they're doing. If, it's, if the strings are more, uh, I'd say more than, than a few millimeters off the, off the neck. And it varies from guitar to guitar. Don't quote me on that. That's not really a good cornerstone. But if it's really excessively hard for you to push if you're on an acoustic, take it in. Tell them to lower, it, lower the action. That's what that's called, is the action, is the distance from the uh, string to the fretboard when you push it down. So if the action's like, you know, an inch and a half or something, then, you, you know, you're going to need to take it in and have it done. And that's an inch and a half is just way off the Richter scale. That was just a joke. But if it's if it's even a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch, even you know, I mean, it's it's too far. And you need to take it in and um, and have it set up. Uh, electric guitar is usually easier to push down uh, to do bar chords. Uh, but the acoustic people get to suffer uh, because the acoustic guitar is like the weight room, and the electric guitar is the you know cut loose and play out. I suggest you have have both the acoustic for practice, the electric for when you want to cut loose. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So we've got a bar chord, basically looks like, looks, this is your bar, and a bar chord um, is essentially uh, the, the, the word bar and then chord, the chord follows. If we look at E major down here, okay? E major is one of the chords, uh, if you haven't watched the uh, major, minor, and seven video, uh, please go ahead and do that and learn the E chord or download the PDF. There is a PDF where you can just go right now and just download the E chord if you want to. There's also a supplemental PDF that goes with this video, bar chords, um, beginner bar chords, that you want to download just so you can see exactly what's going on because you know you can you can you can see what I'm doing here, but these videos are somewhat primitive and you know it's hard to see where I'm putting my fingers and where everything is and you know I'm going to upgrade my camera. Um, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I, as soon as I can. But right now, this is all I can do. Um, but essentially, uh, a bar chord is a bass chord like E. And you know how when we take E, and if we just move this up, this this conglomeration of notes here, this form up, and we isolate the notes that we're holding down only. Okay, that would be an F. And then if we move it up again. That would be an F sharp. If you refer to your keyboard chart, uh, those, that's a download too, a PDF download. That'll show you that each fret on the guitar is is equivalent to a half step, and that's exactly what we're doing when we go an F sharp, and then G, and so on and so forth. But the problem here is that is that you know we've got an isolate, we've got three strings that are isolated, right? And so when we move it up to here, well, what about all the stuff that, that we, we had when we played the E? It's a really full, remember, it's a really full chord. Well, we can't do that. Well, we need to bar this back here and then make our E 
in front of it. So please refer to your PDF diagram to get this form down. But see, it adds a whole different, uh, adds a lot more punch to the whole chord. It just makes it larger. Okay? So this is an E position chord. It's E position because the E is the, is the chord that we're using. And remember, you know, we can play this here or here or, or anywhere and, and get, and get the, uh, the chord that we need. And the name of the chord that you're playing when you're doing a bar chord is the note that's underneath your index finger on the bottom, on the bottom E string. So here it would be F because F is the note that's right here on the first fret. And depending on what this, what this chord looks like over here, this could be a major chord, okay, because this looks like an E major, right, that was back here. Well, if it looks like an E minor and I take the, the middle one off, that's kind of, that's sort of a sad down sound, so there you go, that's a minor, F minor. So F minor, put this finger back, F major, minor, seven. So this is the name, this is what names your chord, and this is the configuration over here, this is what kind. So this is the name, and this is what flavor, okay? Is it, okay, so it's an F. It's an F major, is it an F minor, or is it an F seven, or is it an F nine, right? That's a, that's a jazz chord there. So there's a lot of things you can do to the right of the bar, okay? Bar chords are a little doltish. Um, and what I mean by that is they're sort of mechanical, lumbering types of things, and, and you don't always want to use them for everything. But they get the job done, let's just put it that way. And they also evolve into lesser forms like the power chord. Everybody knows and loves, you know, that kind of thing uh, for rock and roll. Those chords don't contain a third, uh, they just contain the one and the five, which is, which is enough for rock and roll. We've all heard that term before. The second form bar chord is called an A position bar chord, and it has an, it uses the A bass chord as its configuration. So what we do is we just take this bass configuration and add it. You know, we do the bar back here. If we're going to move this up from A, we're going to move it up to A sharp one half step, and then we're going to bar it off back here to bring all the strings that were normally in the A chord when we were playing it back here to bring them all up. To speed with what's going on now. And then of course if we make it look like an A minor, then it's a minor chord. If we make it look like an A7, then it's a 7 chord. What kind of 7 is it? It is a B flat 7 because the bar back here on the first fret that we're using, the tonic is going to be on the A string. Not the E string, okay? Don't get this confused. A lot of people make the mistake of assuming the tonic's over here in the bottom, and it's actually on the A string, okay? So, so that's a B flat major, a B flat minor. Now look how I made this look like a minor over here, and then B flat seven, and then B flat major nine. Here's a fancy, a fancy jazz chord there for me. There's a lot of different types of bar chords. A lot of different types of chords in general. Be sure to watch our other videos. Learn how to play all the chords from A to Z. Uh, this has been uh, the basic bar chords, the E and the A position. My name is Stu Johnson with Second Floor Studios, and we'll see you at lessons. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.